and we are working with the AFM Church uh, to to reach out to to different groups uh, and especially those who are from Western Africa, uh, Ethiopians, Eritreans, and different uh, uh, people who came to South Africa uh, through our Yafet ministry. We are here firstly to acknowledge the situations of the past, what had happened in the last few weeks and the few days that went by. And we're here to ask good Lord Almighty to help us, guide us, give us wisdom from above to sort out these problems that we have now encountered. Here to stand together in the capital city of South Africa with all other Christian leaders from all other nations to pray for calm and peace in our country. Go and dig about the history of Africa. Find out which resources do we have. Find out every great man and every great woman around the globe, you must come to Africa before you become something. Because everyone came to Africa from Abraham, from Jacob, from Joseph, from Moses, who was born here, Jesus Christ himself. Today's meeting was a very good meeting. It's a form of unity and unifying many, many people as the ministers have acknowledged and spoke to us, we are one. We are brothers and sisters. We are Africans in the, in the land of South Africa. And, and as Africans, we should look after one another. The Bible is very simple. Love your neighbor as yourself. And that's what we are looking for. The, the mayor and, and, and myself and the city of Swani totally condemn what had happened in the last few years. The most important factors is that uh, we as Christians need to display our Christianity, which is manifested in love, in tolerance, in unity, and acceptance. Let me tell this talk also. Uh, this is what we need. The Bible said, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and come like this and pray, I would hear in heaven, I would answer them. We don't like to see brother turning against brother. The fights and the intolerances, the xenophobia or Afrophobia as we see it, should come to an end. This unity advancement in knowledge because these people, they are so blinded by the colonial rule, we forget where we came from. We are Africans. It is very important. Uh, I think uh, we always cannot uh, uh, underestimate the, the power of prayer. Prayer can change lives. You see, prayer changes individuals first. It changes my heart and your heart. And then it goes to the community, to the society. I want everybody, please let us practice love, brotherly love. Let's be able to see how we can develop this continent. Rich continent, but suffering badly. That's what you should be sitting together to talk about.